I remember I used to watch Neighbours when I was young. All you see is this kind of sea of white faces, blonde hair, and you start to believe that that is what's normal. I was so aware and ashamed of my culture for a really long time, and it wasn't until later on I start to embrace it, and filmmaking was a large part of that. People always say, you know, filmmaking is not like you're saving lives, which I completely agree with. But when you feel like you've moved someone, you realize it rises above entertainment. It can be more than that. The back sunroom's quite good. The back doesn't have any glass, and I'm going to assume that they're going to cut. So I'm currently doing a short called Reg Makes Contact, and it's a Screen Australia funded short as part of the Hot Shots program. It is a drama with a sci-fi twist. Do you think this is cheatable? Kind of, it'll be a pretty quick shot. It'll be the kind of shot where he's on the ground and he looks up. I've always wanted to do a fully funded short. The money's not yours, which is a really big deal. I'm feeling nervous, um, stressed, slightly petrified but excited, all the feelings that you get before you start a film. This is the first time I've seen it. Um, it's good, not without its issues, but that seems to be the go with, yeah. Does it ever go into movies? filming? There's no, always, there is always something. something, yeah. It's always important to get in the space so you can start planning. I was at VCA for two years. I mean, for me, it was a really, really great experience. It really helped me find my voice. We could do the shot, like his POV, at two men at the door before he... Stuff like pacing and um, getting a feel of when a story thread is getting lost. It's the same across all genres. Suicide in Me. It was my first documentary. It was nominated in the documentary standalone in the Directors Guild Awards. I was lucky enough that it ended up winning. My producer chose a clip and put it on YouTube. He was like, oh, some stranger has shared it on Reddit and it's going all right. <laughs> and like half an hour later, oh my God, it's number three worldwide. And by the end of the screening on TV, it was, this was all on the same day as our ABC screening. And by the end, it was at number one worldwide on Reddit. It just had a, a life of its own, which is like most viral clips. It was just great because that was the whole point to start a conversation about, you know, mental health and suicide, which no one wants to talk about. So while we're on the phone now, do you think you can, do you think you can get rid of that rope and put it outside or put it up somewhere high or where it's not so accessible? No. Okay. Well, it's in the living room now, so can you stay where you are in the bedroom? Okay. That's good to hear. Can you promise me that you won't hurt yourself for the rest of tonight and then in the morning, or, or if you do feel like hurting yourself, you'll give us a call before you do anything. We can work out where to go from there. Okay, you are sounding a little bit better, but please do give us a ring back if, if the thoughts or the, the desires to end your life come back, okay? All right, you take care of yourself. Good night. It is hard not knowing what happened, but at least you know you've done the best you can and, and I mean, she promised she'd keep herself safe and I, I believe her when she said she'll call back if, if the thoughts return.